President Trump uh, said the U.S. strike against Iran's nuclear facilities completely and totally obliterated uh, the three sites targeted by uh, the U.S. But yesterday, a preliminary report from one of the uh, defense intelligence agencies said that Iran's nuclear program uh, was only set back by a few months. Highly respected uh, former nuclear weapons inspector David Albright uh, is with us live this morning. Uh, his team at the Institute for Science and International Security just released its own report on the damage. Uh, and uh, we're going to you know, have the opportunity to speak to him right now. Welcome. It's good to see you, sir. Good to be here. Total obliteration versus, um, I don't know, enough enriched uranium still left to make 10 bombs in a couple of months. Is it somewhere in between? David? Yeah, no, yeah, I think it, what we found is, is there's a lot of destruction of the, of the uranium enrichment program and the program to make the bomb itself. And, and so I think it, Iran's dream of having a, a significant gas centrifuge enrichment program is over. It'll take years to rebuild back to even something approaching what it, what it had 12 days ago. And so, so, but when you whisk, look at these leaks, in this case from DIA, you have to ask what is set back. Um, and and I think what gets lost in this is that the job isn't completely done. I mean, you can only do so much with with bombing, and and you have to do assess honestly that there are remaining stocks of 60% enriched uranium. We don't know how much is is remaining or how much is in the rubble buried in. in collapsed buildings or in Fort Dow. Um, and there's remaining centrifuges that hadn't been deployed, but were but are able to be deployed. And they could be deployed anywhere. It could be a warehouse in Tehran. It doesn't have to be at, a, at a, a third enrichment site that Iran has declared. So you have to have a mechanism to get this. And so I would argue that this isn't over. And what, it, what I would hope would happen is that President Trump does what he said he'll do, is to get a deal with Iran to end its enrichment program and to do it in a very verifiable manner. And in that process, Iran would have to produce these stocks, the remaining centrifuges, and 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 get rid of them. And so that that's what the Trump administration has promised. Now I always yeah, I, I I find the these this battle taking Trump where you take Trump literally and then you just have to debunk a little bit, very corrosive to trying to find a solution to this problem, which is which is a fundamental security problem to the United States. I mean, Iran is a threat, continues to be a threat. Now we have it on sort of back in a back back on its heels, and it's time to finish the job in a sense. And I don't mean militarily, but I mean diplomatically. Yeah, the the it is interesting to watch the reporting of it because whether they intentional or not, there was <laughs> it'd be a weird thing to be gleeful about uh, that that it didn't work for a lot of uh, entities in in mainstream media. I get it, I get it, I get it. Uh, it w what do we think, David? That the 300 feet uh, below the ground, some of the structures may still be intact, so that the bunker busters. Did not completely. Dis is that what the report is saying? And it, how is it possible to know um, at, at this point? Can it could satellite images? Are we that good at, at figuring things out to where this this agency? And there's a lot of agencies I think working on 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 assessing what happened. But for this particular report to come out, what do you think they were? Basing that on that the un, that the structures are still intact, the building. Yeah, well, I think it, it's. I don't. I think they were dependent on satellite imagery and some communication intercepts, and 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 I don't think they can tell. And also from the reporting, I don't know if they're talking about Fordow or a, a mountain complex at Esfahan nuclear site. I mean, it's very murky. What we found at Fordow is uh, we have building designs for Fordow. Um, from previous or other work we do, and and we could geolocate uh, what parts of the site were were being targeted. So there's a, vent a, a very important ventilation shaft that comes up from the bottom, from the floor of the centrifuge plant, all the way up to the surface. Um, th the three holes for the 
mops are right in that ventilation shaft area or ventilation system. So it's kind of a clean shot all the way to the bottom. Uh, you're not going through a mountain per se. We also found that the other three were targeted at the end of a centrifuge of the centrifuge hall, going through a, a, an older structure that had been on the surface and that Iran had covered up back in many years ago. So we, look, we think that's a vulnerability in the mountain. And so with these, if these mops got through, what they're doing is if they explode, they're creating shock waves that run throughout the complex from two different directions. Right. And so we wouldn't expect the roofs to collapse. We would just expect fire uh, pressure shock waves that would destroy things in their path. And so if so it David, worked, it would be extremely destructive. Right. So David, explain this though. To the extent we've now read these reports and the reports are, are effectively reporting on internal U.S documents that have been put together, I imagine, by folks in the Pentagon and others, I would imagine they would take a somewhat optimistic view of these things. They wouldn't take a pessimistic view. They would be, or at least trying to take a realistic view. Why would they say what they're saying if, in fact, we think that the, that the entirety of it all was obliterated? Well, you have to separate it. What is, what is some of the media that leaking this, what are they intending to do when they want to embarrass Trump? The DIA analysts probably were just making an assessment, and, and we make them too. And what are we thinking of? Yes, we have to be pessimistic sometimes because we have to protect our interests, U U.S. interests, and we want to know, we don't want to be blindsided. So you want to do uh, slightly pessimistic assessments so you know, okay, here's a problem we need to solve. And so for us, identifying that there may be uh, remaining stocks of 60% remaining centrifuges means we have to deal with that problem. We can, and it's it's the residual part of the centrifuge program. There's been massive damage to it, and and but we have to deal with it. And we think the best way is through diplomacy. And I would say through Mossad continuing to act in Iran, luring people or encouraging people inside the program to come forward to, in a sense, realize your 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 whole. Way career has been shattered and and you can provide some information about what's going on and we can help you find a new life if it's really yeah, important David, for me. I, when before the united states got involved and israel had uh, done quite a bit to try to degrade the capability the nuclear uh, capability i would have thought that even if the united states had not gotten involved that we weren't talking about just a couple of months at that point so this, no, if, it did no, if it did absolutely nothing, if it did absolutely nothing on Saturday night, that's what makes me question, yeah. as you just the said, US some, of the, the some of the conclusions of the report through the media or even with the agent, and, and I don't know who leaked it, but it, it's really, um, it's not a good thing, and it's, it's not the first time it's happened um, with, with the, you know, with, with intelligence agencies and President Trump. So go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, no, it, and it, it is it is harmful, and and uh, and it and inhibits free deb debate within the within the um, intelligence agencies and, and confuses the public. I mean, the, who who can make sense out of it right now? And and yet it it's something we need to make sense out of and 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 find ways to move forward. So I, you know, the only bright thing I can see in it is is that you know I worry that. President Trump will move on, and 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 this this kind of press reporting is a reminder to him that this problem isn't completely solved. But he's he and and particularly Israel have accomplished a tremendous amount to end Iran's enrichment program, and now we need to do the rest, the, the kind of the, get the residual parts, and do the rest. If you don't, those residual parts will grow and become a threat to the United States.